I have a bit of a summer haul for you. This is coming from a variety of merchants. <laughs> I don't I no longer remember where anything came from. When I get something, I open it up, I set it in a little box, and then I recycle the packaging. So a lot of this stuff has come in in the last couple of months. Um, some stuff I've already pulled out of here to use, and I don't I don't even remember what that was anymore. <laughs> So, so I can't show you, but this is kind of what I had in the box ready to show you. Um, I picked up some more Lawn Fawn inks, just because I'm working on completing my collection. So I've got Noble Fur, Grape Jelly, Merman, and Mermaid. These are lovely, probably my favorite. Chili Pepper, Crunchy Leaf, Sage Leaf, and Number Two Pencil. And I grabbed these, obviously, because I'm going to be working on some fall themed crafts soon-ish hopefully we'll see but anyway those have already been all labeled and color swatched out and ready to go on my shelves kind of a non-crafty thing but I'm putting together a gift basket for my mom so I grabbed this in a, um, a Facebook group for handmade sellers uh, to sell their handmade items because um, all of the like craft fairs and flea, mar flea, not flea markets flea, yeah, flea markets and farmers markets and things um, are not happening this year so a lot of crafters who rely on that income have moved to online Facebook groups and, and parties for things like that and I grabbed this little tea towel here it says craft your balls it's canning season I grabbed this for my mom uh, she loves canning I'm putting together like a, a canning themed uh, birthday present for her this year so I just wanted to show you really quick and uh, if you're interested in those groups, there are tons of them on Facebook, but if you want um, any specific recommendations, let me know. Sorry, my light just turned on over here. Okay, so um, I did get some stamps and dies from various places. Um, Avery L., I know this is being filmed in mid-July. I know Avery L. has come out with their summer release for this year, and I, I don't think I've picked up anything um, from the summer release yet. I think this is actually last year's summer release. Um, sorry, that's my air conditioner kicking on. Uh, I have just haven't, I haven't gotten to it yet, so <laughs> I'm still catching up on last year's stuff. So I grabbed this hat here for Legendary and the coordinating stamps with the Kraken or the octopus or whatever you want to do, but I thought that would be fun. We have pool party here. I really wanted, I mean, these are adorable and I love them, but I really wanted the pool stamp as well. So, I mean, obviously I'll use them all, but I needed the pool for a specific project. And I grabbed, this one I just thought was really pretty, Modern Floral Frame, just for some basics. I had a request um, from uh, my mother, actually, um, to start making cards for grown-ups. <laughs> and I'm like, but I do make cards for grown-ups. And I basically, I make piles and piles of cards, and then I divide them up at the Christmas season, and I give boxes of cards away as gifts uh, to family and friends. And... Um, my mom, although she loves my uh, sort of more whimsical slash ch more childish uh, coloring and stuff like that. Oh, here's an example. <laughs> she she loves these, but she doesn't feel comfortable giving these out to her friends. Um, and I will say, I don't want to throw around stereotypes around here, but um, my stepfather, my mother's husband, is like really heavily into motorcycling and Harleys and stuff like that. So it's all these rough and tough, you know, on the road friends and uh so my mother's like I can't give like a cutesy flower card you know to a scary looking biker guy <laughs> so so anyway so I, I have a request to make some more like adultish cards for my mom so I've been kind of when I see a good price on something I've been kind of picking it up especially florals I'm not too into florals myself but um I mean it's pretty so anyway uh moving on from honeybee did I, did I get the, I may have gotten these from Honeybee, I don't remember. I think I placed a Honeybee order recently, I'm not sure I have it yet, so this is obviously just one part of all. <laughs> uh, we have Ocean Bliss stamps, this is an older one from 2017, just a little mermaid sitting on a rock here. And the coordinating stamp, Everything Mermaid. It's a Sunburst A2 cover plate. Uh, yeah, I don't remember why I bought that, but... And unfortunately, a lot of this stuff, it's like, oh, you know, I'm going to do this or this and this with it, and then I forget. So, why well, I bought it. 
And speaking of which, because I'm a compulsive craft shopper, especially when there's a sale, I'll be doing a de-stash <laughs> probably towards the end of the summer. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. I'll be selling a lot of, um, a lot of things. <laughs> Cleaning out, getting ready for a new year. Okay, so this is a huge stamp set. This is a 6x8. This is Zen Ocean. Just gorgeous. This beautiful, I want to say mandala, but just this big circle of shell images and stuff. And um, you could definitely color it out if you wanted to, but I'm thinking about doing some techniques with this one. And just you get a couple of different little stamps to go with it. And look, you even get a coordinating die to cut this thing out like wow that's just crazy so you could do like a you could do like a whole background with this let's see how big i mean it obviously won't cover the whole card um from top to bottom but it will cover from side to side a card and you could definitely do some some techniques on this anyway gorgeous um from ranger i grabbed some black alcohol ink uh cardstock just because i haven't tried the black yet and while I was there, I grabbed a couple of the alcohol pearl colors, which I haven't tried yet. This has um, celestial, something else in here that I can't read <laughs> because the bottle is slightly to the side and then smolder. Just fun. Um, Lawn Fawn, this is from their like small little spring release or whatever. Um, just the car critters stamps and dies and I was going to make a card with these and the occasion that I picked this up for has long since passed so unfortunately I mean obviously I love it for my collection but I won't be using this immediately Simon says stamp I grabbed a package of the um watercolor cards just for some coloring on the go projects and I haven't opened this one up yet but just for some watercoloring some quick backgrounds on things we grabbed the what do they call this this is from simon says stamp and cd designs this is the parental props so you get all these really fun sentiments for mom and dad and then of course you get the coordinating dies that go with it as well this is a standalone die set um, you and me forever which i thought was cute or maybe it goes to something maybe it goes to something i have I don't remember now. I see like a, or maybe it's just shadow dies. I see like a bride and a groom. I'm not sure what the rest is. I'm going to have to look into this. This may have come with something else and I just don't remember where it is. <laughs> uh, lastly from Simon Says Stamp, uh, this huge stamp set, again, trying to go with a little bit more boring, I mean, adult <laughs> cards. This is Incredible Woman, so a whole bunch of different um, inspiring uh, sentiments and things to uh, to send to your favorite girlfriend or your mom or whatever uh, and I'll definitely be using this one pretty soon because in one of those craft groups that I mentioned um, I will be showcasing some of my own work in there in one of them pretty soon so I'll be using this one in some designs there and I do have some coordinating dies to go with this and I think it just cuts out the flowers but I'm not sure I've never I've not actually had a chance to open this up but obviously I will later from Sunny Studio small set Grad cat graduation season is gone, so this will be something I'll use next year. Uh, I picked this up as soon as it was released. Uh, the tropical scenes from Sunny Studio, gorgeous, just because it's a great uh, scene builder for a lot of card themes that I make. Haven't had a chance to use yet, but I plan to soon. And then from the summer release from Lawn Fawn, I normally just go absolutely crazy and buy everything. I haven't, I haven't even had a chance to open up everything from spring. <laughs> or even order everything from spring that I wanted, or even upload those videos. Just everything is such a huge mess over here. Uh, I just at some point, I just said I will deal with all of this stuff, meaning the craft stuff in the area later, and focus on other areas of my life and home. And now that I'm trying to pull it all together, it's like it's almost overwhelming, so much stuff that I have. So another reason why I'm gonna be doing a big purge soon because I have too much, so I think that smaller is better anyway so from the summer release I just grabbed a couple of things for now I have little dragon here and I got that to go with the build a castle set that I picked up and I also grabbed the stitched rainbow I have a non-stitched rainbow set but I really really loved the stitched rainbow and I like how um, you can cut the different colors separately versus the set that I have where you have to cut them all from like the same color and then a lot of paper goes to waste that way so 
Um, I really like this and I grabbed the stencil. This is the Starry Sky stencil. For, and now that I see this, I'm like, hmm, I think I may have ordered some more stencils from Lan Fan from their, their release that just must not be here yet, just with the delay of the COVID delay of everything. I think they're just not here yet. So we'll do another, um, another haul video when more stuff comes in. Okay. Scrappy tape. We know this came from Scrapbook Pal. I think this is actually a free gift with an order. I picked up the new Speckled Egg Distress Oxide ink, and I haven't even opened it up yet. I grabbed um, Glitter Embossing Cutter from Nouveau. This is the Glimmering Green color. I think I had a purpose to this, but I don't remember what. Uh, we have some small little rose embellishments, and also I have some shell um, embellishments as well. These are a lot bigger than I thought they would be, so I can't, I don't think I can really use something this size on a card, so I'm not sure what, what I'm going to do with those. We have a couple of embellishments here from Shimmers. This is the Caribbean Mix, which is like a uh, little sort of aqua glass embellishments, and then we have this one here, which is clean, clear and white. And then I think last but not least, I haven't quite unboxed these yet. This is how they came to me so that they wouldn't make a mess in the package, which is always welcome, of course. But we have um, stickles um, for stencils and stuff, glitter gel. So we have this one here. I'm not sure what the color is called, but it's like a silver sparkly iridescent. Here's a white sparkly iridescent and it's got like some gold star sequins in there. Here's gold and here's like black with multicolor in there. Anyway, <laughs> this is this part of the haul. I'm sure that I have more coming. Um, I do have a giveaway that I did um, back in the spring and I'm not sure. Um, I'll have to check one more time. I can't find any evidence that the winners have contacted me. So the winners were Nancy Fleming and Tiffany Hoven um, of that giveaway. So um, I mixed because I was so late in getting the um, the video out. Um, I will obviously extend the giveaway. So if Nancy and Tiffany want to contact me, I will still um, still happy to send you your prize winnings. And actually I happen to have them right here. So each of you will win the year 10 stamp and die set and I have another little extra gift that I'm going to throw in there just um, with my thanks and my apologies for being so late with the giveaway but you guys can still contact me um, even though it's obviously well past <laughs> giveaway time and I'd be happy to get them in the mail and I'll have my links down below for social media you can contact me there and actually I think I've mailed something to Nancy before even though I don't have your address anymore Nancy um, but I know that you have contacted me before so Thank you so much. Take care and have an amazing day.